Howdy, howdy, sports fans. Uh, made it to camp. It's about 5 o'clock this evening. Not cold. The uh, sun's gone down and it's going to be getting dark pretty soon. I did about 8 miles, maybe a little more today, maybe maybe as much as 10. It's hard to tell because I didn't have a map and my the application I had didn't work. Uh, so I was kind of guessing. I got a little bit lost at one point, but track back and eventually found a spot. Then I was heading to this great campsite, which I've heard good things about and I wanted to hit. And I wasn't very far away from it, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, the uh, trail was completely washed out. Um, I've been struggling all day with the trail. Uh, they've had a lot of rain and lots of washout, lots of knockdown, lots of bad trail and bushwhacking for probably, eh, probably 30% of the trail going up this river here. Uh, a lot of river crossings. I've probably crossed the river 15 times. Some of them a little sketchy. Uh, not super deep, but moving pretty fast, as you can see. So water crossings were a little sketchy. Happy with my shoes. My socks are keeping my feet relatively warm, which is surprising. Um, and I uh, just got my tent set up for the very first time. It uh, seems to have set up pretty well. I'm happy with it. Um, the ground here has got a lot of rocks in it, so I didn't get a really tight uh, tight staking that I would like. Maybe I'll, I'll practice with that as things go on, but uh, it's set up really quick. And uh, my sleeping bag and my brand new uh, Thermarest uh, mat seems to have been plated fine, and so that all looks good. It's a relatively flat spot. It's too close to the river, uh, and I got a lot of noise from the river, but uh, no other options. This canyon is really narrow, as you can see. There's not a lot of space, and so I was. Uh, really struggling to find a find a campsite when that washout happened. I needed to get to somewhere before dark and that's what I ended up with. So not my preferred campsite, but all good. Uh, I made my gruel, <laughs> my cold soak uh, gruel food in the little Tupperware can there. Uh, that's going to be hopefully uh, my form of feeding myself uh, dinners. Uh, call it cold soaking where you don't actually have any um, the cooking done. You just uh, put the ingredients in, all dehydrated of course, and uh, soak them an hour or so before you're going to get to camp. Uh, and then you eat them. Um, I do have a lighter with me, but uh, no campfires in most places anyway, so it doesn't really do any good. So I'm not bringing the stove, that's extra weight, don't need that. Um, but as far as I can tell, everything worked out pretty well today. Left me, gave me a little bit of trouble, but it doesn't hurt now. It just Sometimes it gives me a little twinge when I turn it sideways or something. Uh, physically, I feel pretty good, not too tired. Uh, getting used to using trekking poles, never used those before, but uh, the trekking poles work to uh, hold up tent. As you can see, these are the trekking poles here, and they hold up tent. So they kind of serve two functions, and I'm good with that. Work. So far, so good. Um, I'm a little stuck now because I don't know where to go. Uh, I was going to kind of make a longer hike out of it, but without that trail being open up up, up ahead, up the river, um, I didn't really, I don't really know where to go because it's back where I came from, which is back towards civilization. Tomorrow's a Saturday, so there's going to be a lot of people. And yeah, just, yeah, good check out. I think this is going to work well. So, thanks for following along. Hope you're enjoying it. Do the Tony doing that hiking thing. Hmm, maybe I'm hiking for you now. Oh, first mosquito!